Hello friends, in today's session, we would like to find out the deformation in a tapered rectangular bar. So the tapered rectangular bar is having uniform thickness T from here to here, but height of the bar or we can say the depth of the bar is increasing from A to B. So if you see here, the left hand side will be having a rectangular area which has height A and thickness T. Right hand side face of the bar this area is again in the form of a rectangle and this area has height B and thickness is T. So thickness is same throughout but the height is varying from small a to small b as you can see here. Now this rectangular tapered bar has length L and it is being pulled by an axial tensile force P. So we are interested to find out the deformation in this tapered bar having rectangular area of cross section due to application of the tensile load P. But I cannot use the standard expression of deformation. Now suppose if we have a rectangular block which is having constant area. Suppose this area is constant at both the sides. If you take a rectangular block like this and if you apply a tensile load on this block P. And if this area is A and this length is L. So in this particular case since the area of the cross section is same throughout. So I can apply the deformation expression here as P into L divided by area of cross section times modulus of elasticity, Young's modulus. So this expression is valid for a block having uniform area, having same area throughout. But if you see here, the area is increasing gradually as we move from left hand side to right hand side. So in this case, we cannot apply this expression which is strictly meant for the uniform area Therefore, we are going to consider a thin portion of the bar and it is situated at distance x from the left hand face of the bar. Now, this thin portion of the bar has very small length that is dx. So, for this thin block, the variation of area from this end to this end will not be significant because the length is very small. I can assume that the area of cross section is same throughout. So, I am going to assume this area of cross section as a suffix x. A suffix x because it is situated at distance x from the left face. So now how to find this a x. Now so if you look at this particular block, this block has some height. I am calling the height of the block as h suffix x. This height is h suffix x because it is situated at distance x from the left face. Now so this height of the block is varying uniformly. So there is a uniform rate of variation. So let me say let k equal to rate of variation of height of the bar with length. So how it is increasing? The height is increasing from small a to small b. So the rate is b minus a for unit length that is l. So this is the rate at which the height of the bar is increasing from left face to the right face. Now I want to find height of the bar at distance x. Therefore height of the bar at distance x from left face that I am calling as h of x. So the height of bar at distance x from left face is given as hx but we know that that variation rate is k so if i take the variation rate from left face to this particular point so it is going to be hx minus a divided by x distance is x and that is equal to k this will give us the value of hx as a plus k times x so we got the height of this particular thin block which is at distance x from the left face this is given by equation one now since this is very thin block, its height is hx and its uh, length is dx, it can be approximated as block having area ax. So what is area ax? Therefore area of cross section of thin block at distance x from left face is ax and that is nothing but the height into thickness. But thickness is same throughout as we know that. So it is hx into t that is equal to hx multiplied by thickness t. So this is the thickness of this particular block is constant throughout. So I have multiplied by height of the block times thickness. Since the area of this is taken as approximately uniform, so I can use this expression for a thin block. Therefore deformation, I'm going to find the deformation in thin block due to tensile load P. Now, the so length of the thin block is dx. So deformation in the, in the length of dx is going to be delta dx. So delta is deformation and the length is dx and that is going to be same expression PL upon AE. So load is P. And the length of the thin block is going to be dx. Area of cross section is a suffix x. The area of block is a suffix x times the modulus of elasticity is e. That is Young's modulus. Therefore, if I want to find total elongation in this particular tapered bar, 
so i will have to consider similar thin disk starting from this end and i am going to find the elongation in each disk from left face to right face so that procedure is called as integration so if i integrate the deformation in the thin block due to load p from this end to this end i will be getting overall deformation in the bar due to load p so i'll just do integration of this deformation to find the overall deformation so let me do it therefore the total deformation or elongation is nothing but the integration of deformation in the thin block so it is i am going to call that a delta l that is total deformation is nothing but the integration of small deformation in the thin block from here we have x equal to 0 at the left end at the right end we have x equal to l so i am going to integrate from x equal to 0 to x equal to l so let me do this this is going to be 0 to l p is there dx is there now area of cross section which is ax is nothing but hx hx into t but hx is nothing but a plus kx times t so it is small a plus kx times t i am going to integrate this so therefore total elongation that is delta l in the tapered bar we got as integration 0 x equal to 0 x equal to l and then in numerator we had you can see here p into dx p is a load which is constant and then dx divided by we had here a plus kx a plus k into x times t so i'll write down the here a plus k x into t now as we know that the thickness of this bar is constant throughout only height of the bar is varying from left face to right face so I can take thickness outside, whereas the tensile load, the axial load which, which is applied on the bar is also constant. So I can take that also outside of the integration. So this will be simplified to P by T. And then inside we are going to have, this is going to be modified as 1 divided by A plus KX. K is a constant as you know that. So it is 1 upon KX. Now we know that the integration of 1 over a plus bx, bx is 1 by b natural log of a plus bx. This is a standard result of integration. So we can use this standard result. It is 1 over b. So here value of b is basically k. k is a constant. So we will be getting p over t into 1 over k, which is 1 over b and then you'll be having natural log of a plus kx we have we have here a plus kx so a plus kx and then we have limit 0 to l this overall elongation in the tapered bar so if i simplify this this is going to be that is delta l in the bar is going to be p divided by t and what is k k is the rate of k is nothing but it is rate of variation of height of the bar with length so k is b minus a by l so i should put that here k is nothing but b minus a divided by l i'll put it here and here first i put upper limit so it is a plus k into l so natural log of a plus k into l minus a plus k into zero so it is going to be natural log of only a so if you look at here k is defined as b minus a by l so this will give you this will give you that k into l equals b minus a so this expression k into l equal to b minus a can be used here so this k into l will become this will become b minus a so therefore you will get overall deformation in the tapered bar as this will be p this L will go up, so P into L divided by thickness of bar times B minus A. And then you will have natural log of A. K into L is B minus A again. Divide by A is going to come because log A minus log B is log A upon B. So it is going to be A. This will be simplified as B minus A natural log of here a gets cancelled out you can see here so b by a so friends we got expression as therefore total elongation in the tapered rectangular bar 
delta L as so this is the expression for total elongation in the tapered rectangular bar as shown over here. 